Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Vendors Table. Today we are live at Porchester Hall with the Modern African Wedding Show. See what we get up to. We are here with Esther Peters. Uh, name of your business? Soft Life Travel. Okay, so let's get into honeymoon talk. Soft Life before Soft Life was a thing. <laughs> you heard it here first. Um, okay, so what should people consider when it comes to planning a honeymoon? People need to consider their budget, and their budget needs to match their expectations. Okay, and what is the difference between a vacation and a honeymoon? The difference is. Your honeymoon is the start of your marriage. <laughs> I like that, short and simple. The message is clear, people. Start the marriage, start it well. Does the timing of when the honeymoon happens matter? Not necessarily. However, if the timing is very off, opt for a mini moon. Mini moon now, honeymoon later. There's no rush for a honeymoon. Essentially, some clients will even wait a whole year and there's nothing wrong with that. Some people just genuinely want a, to relax straight after the wedding from the hustle and bustle of planning and everything. There's nothing wrong with a mini moon. Opt for a mini moon. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. We are here with Lionel from Techlo Events. Perfect. And describe your business in 20 seconds. So we offer film and photography, the best in London, for a reasonable price. That's a small print. And essentially, we could just help you with a media package from beginning to end. Everything from pre-wedding photo shoot to the amazing wedding film at the end. Perfect. And um, what are two ways that we as vendors can make the planning experience better for couples? Meetings, meetings, meetings. Have as many meetings as possible with the, um, with the couples. You want to make sure that you have an order of the day. A lot of couples don't have this till the last minute. It's like, oh, no, no, no. All the vendors will just know what they need to do. You need a detailed order of the day and have as many meetings with, that, with them as possible. That will help them realize it. Perfect. Very much agree with that. And um, uh, what's your favorite thing about the wedding industry? My favorite thing about the wedding industry is just seeing the couples on the day and seeing them happy. Like, imagine editing a video and you, all you're seeing is smiles. Of course, we can create a video where it's all like this, but I like it when the couple are just really happy to be there and all their family and friends are happy to be there as well. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll put the details down here, so we want to follow them, give them a shout, do so. And um, yeah, thank you very much. All right, we are here with... Grace of Halita Co. Perfect. If you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? We are an event stationary business, so we specialize in weddings, but we can do birthdays, we can do baby showers, pretty much any event that you have, we can personalize your stationery for you. Perfect. And um, what is your favorite thing about the wedding industry? The fact that we can create pieces that are timeless and at the same time have meaning to each individual client, couple, bride, groom, whatever. It's, it's personalized to the person. So I think that's just the fact that we can do that is great, really, yeah. Okay, perfect. And um, what two things could we do as vendors to make the planning experience better for couples? I think we the best thing to do is to be able to communicate effectively with the clients and just bring them along in the process because I feel like a lot of the times um, vendors just do what they want to do and then inform the client maybe last minute to say, oh, this is what we're doing and that's it kind of thing. They have to have a say. If at the end of the day, they are spending their money. So it's really important to bring them along at every process, every point of the process. So I think that's my main thing really, yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Well. We've been here with Helita. Uh, put the details on here if you want to follow or follow or buy some of their stuff. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Thanks so much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Els from Fire and Ice. Perfect. If you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Okay. A very high energy, um, highly impactful editorial style photography and videography in the wedding industry. Perfect. And they are very high energy, guys. Check out their socials. It is crazy. Christians, he's running up and down, flying everywhere. They're amazing. <laughs> Honestly, um, what's your favorite thing about weddings? Um, seeing so much love in one place. Like, I yeah, I, I don't know how to word other than that, to be honest. It's, every single wedding is unique, and you see so much love 
in one place from the family, from the couple, and it's just the most inspiring place to take photos and videos. It's really easy to create amazing content at our wedding. Yeah, perfect. It's built in, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what uh, what can we do as vendors? Two things that we can do as vendors to make the planning experience better for couples. Um, supporting each other, I think, is really important as vendors. So making it easier to for, like, so for photographers and videographers, being able to promote other vendors through our work is great. And that's, that, that's kind of what I'd say about it. Okay, perfect. And um, do, is there a common misconception about your service? A lot of people think we only do photo and we only do video and they a lot of people don't realise we do both. So we're a team of 12, um, so we actually have enough people to accommodate for quite a big event. So we do both in one day. There's no conflicts between photographers and videographers when you hire us as one service. So yeah, just being able to put the word out there for people that we do everything all at once is, is a big misconception with Fire and Ice. Okay, perfect. Um, well yeah, thank you very much. That was amazing. Um, we'll have the details here as well, so if you want to follow them or check out their services, um, feel free to do so. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Daffoli of BTS Maven. Wonderful. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Okay, so I go to weddings, use my iPhone and take all the candids and behind the scenes of everything as it's unfolding. And the idea is that within 24 hours, you will get all the content that I've taken. Perfect, perfect. And um, what's your favourite thing about weddings? I love watching the couple. Um, I love everything to do with like the first dance, how they interact with each other on the day of the wedding, how in love they are. I just, yeah, it just makes me feel giddy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, is there a common misconception about your service? Yeah, actually, that we're here to take over from photographers and videographers, which we're not. It's a completely different service. And um, yeah, it's just an addition to the day. Okay, perfect. And um, if you could give me two quick tips on ways that we as vendors can make the planning experience better for couples, what would that be? To collaborate. Um, I think, like I said, people think that we're here to take their job. It just makes life easier when we work together and deliver um, what the couple needs for their wedding day. And secondly, do your job the best way that you possibly can. Give good customer service to your couples. That's my tips. Okay, perfect. That was BTS Maven. We're going to leave their details here if you want to check them out. And um, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Veronica oh. from Viber J Photography. Perfect, perfect. If you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? 20 seconds. I am a timeless, simple wedding photographer who likes to keep things easygoing with a candid shot. Perfect. Um, and what's your favorite thing about weddings? Oh, I think it's the excitement and the people. Yeah. The people, the atmosphere on the day. It is always good at a wedding, isn't I know, it? No, it's like there's n nothing else. <laughs> and um, what are the common misconceptions about your service? Common misconceptions? Um, that I do video as well, which I don't. <laughs> <laughs> which I don't. Okay, <laughs> like, just for. I do video, I'm like. <laughs> nah, have you seen my arms? <laughs> they can't, they can't, they can't hold it. There's a lot of holding in it. I can't. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> And um, if you could give me two quick tips on how we as vendors can make the planning experience better for couples, what would that be? I think it's probably like have the bride and groom in mind. Okay. That's the, you're there for their purpose and yeah. that's it. Agreed. Okay, perfect. Quick, simple. Um, so yeah, details will be down below. If you want to give them a follow, check them out. Make sure you do so. And um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... MC Ayo! <laughs> energy, energy! <laughs> I didn't know if I should scream or jump. No. <laughs> As you can already see what's that. going on, the energy is crazy. Um, if you could describe your service in 20 seconds, what would you say? I would say elevating events with energy and elegance. Brilliant. Short, sweet, to the point, very, very, very accurate. Yeah. Um, okay, what's your favorite thing about weddings? I just love love, man. And I know this is something you say as well. Like, I just love seeing families. I love hearing the speeches and just celebrating an amazing day. Yeah, that's what I love. Perfect, perfect. Um, what's, a, what's a misconception about your service? Oh, my goodness. That we just show up on the day. <laughs> that we just show up on the day and we just speak. That there's no event planning. That we just... We, you know we can get into yeah, this, but basically we do, we do just the, just that we just show up. That's the biggest misconception, I would say. Okay. And just a lack of understanding of what actually goes on behind the scenes before we show up. 
Okay. Yeah, there is a lot of BTS. There is yes. a lot of BTS. We get into that. Um, okay. Give me two things that we as vendors can do to make the planning experience better for couples. I'd say asking the right questions, um, doing our due diligence to just really get to know the couple because you can see when there's a synergy and when there's not. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say those are two things. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And um, yeah. That's it, actually. Thank you very much. You're this welcome. is MC Ayo. Hey. Details are below, so if you want to check her out. Um, so make sure, very dope female MC. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Oluk Benga King of uh, BSL Financial Services Limited. Okay, perfect. And if you could describe the business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Uh, we help you make your dream home come true. Perfect. Um, so we're here about weddings. Uh, when couples are considering buying their first home or home, what are the things that they should be thinking about? Well, affordability is important because it's important for them to start their wedding, uh, their new life without being financially burdened. So uh, we're here to help guide them in terms of how to be able to get the right home that they can afford as they start then with that just set up a good foundation for a wonderful marriage that will not be financially burdensome. For sure. And um, obviously now the, the right home is subjective to the couple, but what are the, the factors that couples should be thinking about when they're thinking about, is this home right for us? Well, I think uh, what they can afford is important. Getting a, a dream home is what every one of us wants, but the right home, the affordable home is key for a couple that are just starting out because when they're starting out there's so many things that they want to achieve there's still going to be children coming in later so but if you're able to stabilize yourself financially get your house make sure you can afford it when other expenses comes in it will not be a burden you will be okay in terms of moving forward so we just help them plan for that perfect amazing um, yeah, so that's BSL Financial. We're going to have their details here below. Very good to check them out um, and make sure you're thinking long term when you're buying your home. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Echo Cafe. Wonderful, the amazing Echo Cafe, the sponsors of, food sponsors of the podcast. Um, so, yeah, special guest. Um, so, describe your business in 20 seconds. We are an Afro Caribbean. Um, focused catering business that specializes in weddings, corporate events, and home deliveries. Brilliant. And um, when couples are considering uh, booking caterers, what should they consider? I think it's very important to bond with your caterer. I think, you know, if the person is going to be responsible for the food on your special day, it's important to have that connection with them. Tasting the food is a very, very big part of it, so I would definitely recommend doing a tasting ahead of time um, and just make sure that you're comfortable with what's going to be served on the day. Perfect. And um, what are the common misconceptions about your service? That we're expensive. I think because it looks really well laid out, people think that we're a little bit pricier than we are, which I don't think is a bad thing, but yeah. Oh, surprise. It might be better than you think. Yeah. Um, and give me, if you give me one or two things that we as vendors can do to make the planning experience better for couples, what would that be? I think as a collective, vendors should talk, right? Um, because I think being together, you're not just, you're all coming together to deliver something for a special guest, right? The couple is that special guest that you're focused. And I think there's a lot of collaboration that can happen between the vendors before the day and on the day that will sort of deliver that top-notch service. Amazing, perfect. Guys, that's this Echo Cafe. Details will be here below if you want to check them out, make sure you do. The food is very good. I can personally verify that myself. <laughs> Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Margaret, the designer of Ornate Bridal. Wonderful, wonderful. If you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? I would say luxury, beautiful, great feelings. When you get in my gowns, they give you real great feelings. Is it 20 seconds over? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. It was in time, it was in time. Uh, and yeah, when you have a look at the dresses, you'll know exactly what she's talking about. When people are considering getting a bespoke bridal dress made, what are the things they should think about? They should think about, think about, no, actually, I would change thinking about. I would more put in, understand that you are getting your gown sculpted. 
So you're not going to compromise on your gown. You're going to get every detail that you want when you have it bespoke. It's different as to going into a shop and seeing beautiful dresses on the rail, trying it on. Oh, I wish this was a bit more bigger, or I wish it was a bit more tighter. You actually get exactly what you want from the beginning to the end. So think about just getting bespoke. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you should <laughs> well yeah, that was it. All night battle details will be here. Make sure you check them out if you're looking for a bespoke dress. Thank you very much. Alright, we are here with Gloria from Royal Lace UK. Wonderful. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? It's a business that caters to beautiful women. Women of all sizes, shapes and colours. Um, it's um, something that, you know, it's a business that likes to make you feel and look like royalty. Hence the name, Royal <laughs> Perfect, brilliant. Um, okay, what's your favourite thing about weddings? I don't know, I mean, I just like the whole process of it. For me, as a hairstylist, I like being a part of the process, being a part of like them, the brides actually looking and feeling wonderful. You know, hair is the big part of your of anyone's the look, anyone's yeah. look exactly. Yeah. Even though it doesn't define you, it is a big part and it makes you feel good. You know, you don't need hair to look good, but it's, it's a bonus. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Shout out to all the bold brides. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, if you could give me two quick tips on how we as vendors can make the planned experience better for couples, what would that be? I think vendors need to be more empathetic. Mm -hmm. You need to put yourself in people's shoes. As much as obviously you're making money off of this, it's not all about the money. You have to think about, you know, they've got other issues to think about. They've got other vendors to deal with. They've got other, you know, messages to, you know, send out, stuff like that. Like, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I, I like to reduce the stress. So I don't like them to like think about me too much. Like, I want to be there to support them as much as I'm doing their hair to support them as well. Yeah. Perfect, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, well, yeah, thank you very much. That's Royal Lace. Awesome. We've got the details here below, so check them out. And um, yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, we are here with Rachel, and I'm from Not Just Travel. Wonderful. And um, if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Okay, so I'm a travel agent that's catering specifically to black millennials based in the UK. And I also specialize in once a lifetime travel, group trips, and destination events. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, and yeah, what's your favorite thing about, let's talk about planning the honeymoons or honeymoon process? Um, I think my favorite thing is the fact that people can really have whatever their dream honeymoon is. I offer a service where I can set up a gift list for you. And um, if your guests can contribute towards the cost of your honeymoon, if you book through me, that's one of my favorite things because that means people can really have their dream trip, but let their guests take care of it for them. Okay. And um, what's one big thing that couples should consider when thinking about planning a honeymoon? Um, I think time of year. I think you don't necessarily need to go on your honeymoon straight after your wedding. Sometimes I think picking the, your dream destination, going at the time that's right for that destination is probably the best thing to consider, I would say. You don't necessarily need to go straight away. Um, just go when the time is right for you and for that destination. For sure, for sure. Perfect. That makes sense. Um, yeah. What are the common misconceptions about your service? I think a common misconception is that I add on fees, which I don't. You just pay for the cost of your um, holiday, and that's what you have to pay for. You don't have to pay me an additional fee. Perfect. The price is the price. Um, wonderful. Thank you very much. Not just travel details will be here, so check them out. Um, and make sure you plan that honeymoon right. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the wonderful... Elsie, a.k.a. EOW Planner. And... We're Manola of Manola Lux Weddings. Amazing, amazing. Two extremely exceptional planners um, and coordinators. Um, so a quick one. What are the common misconceptions about the service that you guys provide? <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. Um, that, we, that we're in a party profession. All we do is look pretty, have parties. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Great. Well, that we probably do every single thing. We do a lot of things, we do a lot. but not every single thing. Uh, yeah. Agreed, yeah. But you guys do do a lot, though. We can't doubt that you do a lot. You do a lot. No, we respect the work behind the scenes. It's a lot of footwork. It's 20k miles, 20k steps, sorry, average already. Um, okay, and quick one. Um, one each from you guys. One thing that we as vendors can do to make the planning experience better for couples. <laughs> 
Just one. You know, you know, just one. I know, the, I know what you're going to give me. You know my answer to that? Me. Communication. Capital C. Be better at communicating. It makes our life easier. Do not ignore an email. The very minimum, acknowledge an email. Amazing. I was going to say similar. Customer service. Yeah, pick up, answer inquiries on time, give all the details, and just let it be seamless. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, wonderful. I expected nothing less from these gorgeous ladies. Um, but yeah, details will be below, so if you want to check them out for your service, for your wedding, please do so. Thank you, ladies. It's been a pleasure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Hi, I'm Serena from the Wire Event. Perfect. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Ooh, I would say bespoke, timeless, wedding planning, design, and coordination. Fishing. Um, okay, uh, what's your favorite thing about weddings? The moment that the bride and groom look at each other and you can just see the love that's radiating from them, the happiness of the day. Yeah, I'll say that's my favorite thing. Oh, yeah, that's a magic moment. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Um, if you could uh, give me two tips on how we as vendors can make the plan experience better for couples, what would that be? I would say really good communication and managing um, clients' expectations, making sure you're really upfront from the, from the get-go about what you offer, your limitations as well. Don't be afraid to say how far you're willing to go because sometimes clients really don't know you know, where that stop point is and then they expect too much and then they're disappointed. So if you communicate that from the get-go, it's clear communication, yeah, I think so. It's the communication of a capital C. Yes, definitely. Um, and then lastly, when people are thinking about booking your service, what is something that they should consider? I think they should definitely explore everyone and then get to know us. I definitely think you should get to know all your vendors on a personal level because you've got to work with them for your special day. You need to like them. Um, and if they're considering booking us, we do a very tailor-made service. All of our services is, is based on the client individually. We get to know them on a really personal level so that we can admit all their concerns and make sure that the little details that matter to them is, is radiated on their day. Yeah, I almost stumbled there. I'm all right, I'm all right. I got you got it, it you got okay. it, you got it. <laughs> so, uh, that is no events. Uh, details will be below. If you want to check them out, make sure you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Baby from My Cake Maker. Perfect. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Okay, so... Um, it's a uh, wedding cake making business, so we design and create bespoke wedding cakes for your for your wedding, something that suits exactly what you're looking for on your day and to boost your experience on your day, on your big day. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. And um, what are things that couples should consider when coming to buy a bespoke wedding cake? Okay, so they should consider size, the size that they're looking for, and perhaps a final design. I mean, they don't even have to have a final design in mind, just have an idea of what you're looking for. Perhaps a um, color scheme, um, maybe you've looked on Pinterest to see different things that you like, but don't expect that we're going to recreate what you see. What we'll do is we'll take the different ideas that you see, you take what you like from those different ideas and create something that is specifically for you that's not been done for anyone else before. Okay, perfect, perfect. And um, what are the common misconceptions about your service? Um, that dummy cakes are a whole lot cheaper than a real cake. Yes, they are slightly cheaper because you don't have to consider things like baking, leveling, filling cakes and ganache cakes, but they're not a whole lot cheaper. They're a little bit cheaper, but not excessively cheaper. Okay. Perfect. Um, and lastly, what's your favorite thing about weddings? My favorite thing about weddings? Cakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cake. The cake has to be my favorite. I mean, anyone that doesn't love cake, I have to question. <laughs> question there. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. This is very true. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Um, details will be below. If you want to check them out for your cake, make sure you do. And um, yeah, that was amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... She Music Global. Well, my name's Keisha, but the company's called She Music Global. Okay, perfect. And um, if you could describe the business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Uh, live music entertainment for weddings and events that perform. How many more seconds have I got? <laughs> Bands, drums. Saxophone singers, DJs. Is that 20 seconds? Have I gone over? I'm <laughs> I'm I think that was good. I'll put a timer to check yeah, exactly. it. Um, okay, what are things uh, that couples should consider when thinking about booking you guys? Uh, whether they can actually have live music at their events. Uh, 
have a think about exactly what you want, when you want us in the day. Do you want the live music in the evening to get everything all lively? Or do you want a singer as you're walking down the aisle or a saxophonist while you're walking down the aisle? Or when you go and sign the registry and everyone's sort of like a bit bored and mingling and do they need some entertainment to just keep them going? When do you want the entertainment? And also your budget, how much do you want to spend? It's very important. It's very kind of um, <laughs> And lastly, what's your favourite thing about weddings? I know it sounds really cliche, but the love, really. It's lovely. And yeah, and it all coming together and then seeing, you know, someone's family crying because the, you know, their bridal grooms finally found someone or finally left their house and could leave now. Without <laughs> to pay any more bills. <laughs> no, but seriously, no, it's beautiful. When I, for me, I talk to the bride and groom, and we're talking the whole, you know, the whole process. And then when you see it all come together, you're like, ah, I'm just excited as you too. It is amazing. Yeah, it's nice. It's Perfect. Um, well, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Details will be here below if you want to check them out. Make sure you do. And um, yeah, awesome. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Renny from Tact. Wonderful. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Oh, I would say it is a conversation starter to keep anyone that you love connected beautiful sweet simple um, okay what are what are things that couples should consider when they're thinking about buying your cards are you ready to be honest are you ready to have a bit of fun can you have a laugh or has life sucked the fun out of you that, that is my question because honestly it's just an opportunity to like revisit old memories create new ones learn learn more about the person that you're with Dope, dope. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, they have a couples edition, which is the purple. They also have a friends edition, which is the yellow. Um, so be sure to check them out. Details will be below. And thank you very much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Michael Okunora of Twelve Nights and Stars. Wonderful, wonderful. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Okay, so we provide clothing solution for men in general. So if you're getting married, from consultation to styling to the outfits itself. So that's what we do. Perfect. And um, what is something that grooms or guys should consider when they're looking to buy a suit for a wedding? Um, I think it is important for them to consider their body type. For them to understand that not um, they should need, they need to understand their body type and understand the tailor they are going for. Uh, so they need to 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 put that into consideration. Okay, yeah. perfect. And um, what's your favorite thing about weddings? My favorite thing about wedding first dance. Yeah. <laughs> Great what's opportunity. Your favorite thing about wedding? Mine. Uh, speeches. Speeches. Yeah. yeah. Love okay. speeches. Seeing a couple getting emotional about the words. Um, I think. Talks are cheap, but first dance, you get to see real emotion, and not every time you get to witness that. So, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Um, yeah, that's 1219 styles, guys. These will be below. Make sure you check them out for their suits, really dope suits. Thank you, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Abigail Artistry. Wonderful. And if you could describe a business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Um, glamorous bridal makeup with basically everything. I just don't give you bridal makeup, but I give you an experience, a luxury experience. Yeah, basically. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And um, what are one of the main things that brides should consider when, when looking at getting bridal makeup done? I think you should get a bridal trial. So you are not surprised on the day because I've heard stories. That's what I'll say. <laughs> Perfect, definitely get a trial. Always makes sense. Um, and what's your favorite thing about weddings? I think it's um, the reveal, like when they do their makeup and they're so happy and like I've had brides in tears basically, joy, <laughs> tears of joy <laughs> and yeah they're just so happy, I think I just love that part, just being a part of the experience, that's, that's what I love basically. Okay dope, thank you very much, um, details will be below if you want to check her out, make sure you do, uh, and make sure you get that trial, thank you very much. Alright ladies and gentlemen we are here with? Kike, oh. personal bridal gear. Wonderful. Um, if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Um, so we specialize in bridal gifts for bridal parties. Um, so if you're a bride looking to give your bridesmaids some gifts, we, we have a lot of items that you can pick from. And also if you're, you want to give gift the bride, we have bride gifts for you as well. Perfect. <laughs> um, so what are, one, what are one of the main things that people should consider when looking to, to take on your service or buy your service? 
Um, it, we have a lot of unique gifts and also it's personalised. So if you want something different, then we, we have it. Amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, so guys, details will be below. Make sure you check them out. Uh, and get your bride something nice. Get your bridesmaid something nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Portrait Events. My name is Jeanne. And I'm Amber. Wonderful. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? So we are a luxury event coordination company. We also look after... So we do wedding planning. We do birthday parties. We do baby showers. Any type of event, that's who we are. But today we're looking at weddings. Wonderful, wonderful. And if you could um, suggest a way in which we as vendors could make the planning experience better for couples, what would that be? I would say don't wait. Like, jump on the experience quickly. Make sure you email on time. Make sure you're calling people on time. Don't leave them hanging, basically. People want quick responses. Wonderful, wonderful. And um, quick one, what's your favourite thing about weddings? The love. <laughs> The love, the C2 couple together. Yeah. I think that's it, yeah, the yeah, love definitely. The first dance, after they've danced and they're married, like you can kind of relax a little bit, you know, that's, that's the best thing. Wonderful, wonderful. Guys, that's Portrait Events. Details will be below. Make sure you check them out. Um, thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Luxury Main by B. Wonderful. If you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Um, we are a hair company and we do with bridal hairstyles. We sell wigs, frontals, anything that has to do with the bride's day. Yeah, right there. Wonderful. Um, so when brides are thinking about getting a bridal hairstyle or hairstylist, what should they consider? Um, obviously the cost is number one. Um, the experience of the hairstylist and their portfolio. Obviously how they look, the kind of styles they've done, how neat it is. For me, if I was a bride and if I wanted to book a hairstylist, what I would like to see is neatness and simplicity of the hairstylist. Wonderful. And um, what's your favorite thing about weddings? Um, just being part of a bride's day from beginning to end, being able to be with her in that special moment, final moment, and just dressing her up and just making her feel lovely about the day. It's nice. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. Details will be below if you want to check them out, make sure you do. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. You. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Rachel from The Cooking Pot. Wonderful. If you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? We are an African-Caribbean catering company that specializes in Ghanaian food, but also works with other caterers from other um, cuisines to help bring authenticity to our clients. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I can verify, I've tried the food, the food is good. Um, when couples are thinking about booking caterers, what are one of the things that they should consider? They should consider not only the food that is provided, but the service holistically that is provided. So in terms of, does your caterer provide you ease in terms of your wedding day? Is what I think they should consider. From, from, front to, from, front, from start to finish. Okay, perfect. And uh, what's your favorite thing about weddings? It all coming together. So like being a part of a couple's day and seeing the joy that everything has come together. Because it always comes together. I believe it always comes together. So it's nice to see you be a part of that, like everything coming together. That's the joy of it. Sometimes the process can be stressful, but the day always comes together. Wonderful. That's the cooking pot, guys. Make sure you check them out. Details will be down below. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Please, guys. All right. We are here with... Clarice from Nubian Events. Wonderful. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Um, well, we make you have the best of every moment. To celebrate the best of every moment. What are one of the ways that we as vendors can make the planning experience better for couples? Absolutely. It's collaborating together. Networking. Recommending each other. It's the greatest part that we as vendors can do for each other. Okay. And uh, what's your favorite thing about weddings? Food. Food is my favorite part of our wedding. Yeah. Yes. Food is always a winner. Uh, wonderful, guys. That's Nubian Events. Make sure you check them out. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Aisha. Oh? Be Match Studios. Perfect. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? So we're live streamers, and we're here today talking to people about live streaming their wedding and why they should live stream. And it's about bringing everyone together for your wedding. No matter where they are, no one should miss out on loved ones saying, I do. 
Beautiful. Um, so when someone's considering live streaming their wedding, what are some of the things that they should think about? So whether you've got family abroad, scattered around the globe, or even if you've got maybe elderly relatives in the same country, or some people don't like children at their weddings, and so families can't come sometimes, consider who you want at your wedding and who can't be there. And if you've got people who are precious to you, and you don't want them to miss it, think about what the live stream will mean to you. So we can then uh, talk to you about your wedding, what your setup's going to be, and we can come down with our cameras and share your day. Amazing, amazing. Um, lastly, what's your favourite thing about weddings? What's your favourite thing about weddings? Oh, it's so cliched, but it's that being there at that moment when the people are making that promise to one another, and to know that you're the one helping them beam that across the world. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's an amazing moment to be there. And it's more fun than conferences and seminars. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Um, so yeah, details will be below, guys. Be much Studio, check them out. Um, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with... Um, Emmanuel of Cakes and Weddings. Wonderful. And um, if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Um, well, if this doesn't give it away, um, we're here to get perfect pictures for you on the wedding day. Um, the icing on the cake for all your planning events. We really just um, document your memories, put it in a nice little envelope. Really. Dope. And uh, what's one of the common misconceptions that people have about your service? Oh, well, this one I dug deep, but I think it is um, the, the cliche um, the camera is good. The camera doesn't do all the work. Um, there's a lot of uh, expertise that also goes into it. Um, an eye for it being one. Um, experience also counts. Knowing how to navigate um, the complex areas of a wedding day. Because activities can be clustered together. Knowing how to navigate that also is a, is a key part. And also prior experience with um, your um, other of the day, how you're, how you're planning things also, also by that. So it's not just the camera, it's not just the camera. <laughs> and um, what's one of the things that couples should think about when thinking about booking your service? Um, well, um, for me as a brand, um, if you want customized services, like if you want um, a service that just speaks to you, not um, wedding that's um, productionized, wedding that's just for you, um, I'm your guy. Because I like to offer tailored customized services. Um, each of my brands have their own color grades, so I take my time and I, I try to get one of one pictures for you. One of one pictures for you. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, guys, details will be on the screen. Make sure you check them out. Yeah, Very okay, good pictures. Um, these are QR code and then these are our photo too. This is what our print works looks like. Quite thick too, yeah? Can last decades, really. <laughs> so, Thank you very much, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Carl from TJ Dreams Photography and Film. Wonderful. And if you could describe your business in 20 seconds, what would you say? Ooh, we bring that cinematic experience to you, <laughs> to your wedding day. We provide both photography and film services. And our clients like that because they don't want the stress and hassle of booking different vendors. So we do it all of that for them. And we provide good and special discounts as well. So. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, when people are thinking about booking your services or photography, videography in general, what should they consider? Um, I think they should consider, I mean, at the end of the day, you are spending a lot of money for the whole wedding as a whole. It's important to capture the moment. And you want someone that you can trust, someone that is reliable, someone that has got the accreditation, someone that has got a wedding award. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so by all means, put your trust in us where the trust resides. Ooh, I like That's a line. big flex. That's a big flex. Um, all right, what's your favorite part of weddings? My favorite part of the wedding. Oh, I do like towards the end of the night when I can let my camera down and have fun with the. Well, not like have fun, but you know, let my camera down and also celebrate the union of the couple as they round up the day. It's yeah. beautiful to watch on the dance floor. When I see them on the dance floor, just both of them, everybody around. No, no, no. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, see their dreams. These will be below. Follow us. Make follow sure you follow them. Give them a shout. Thank you very much, bro. There we go. Love <laughs> it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with. This is RJ. Wonderful. Can you get this card with any of Venue in central London. It's, um, it's an amazing venue. It's a 1920s, 1920s Art Deco style um, great teams in the building. Um, I think it's a unique spot, which is not noticeable, but we'll come inside. 
wow, it's a romantic castle, um, and it's like super big and yeah, beautiful inside. Mm. Um, and what should, uh, what should couples in the city think about when they're looking to it's got good capacity, so it's got 400 people, seated, it's 400 adults as well. Um, we also have it's like a private room, it's a private room, we have uh, another small hall, we do um, the ceremony as well, we have the marriage license, we can get married here. Um, the great thing is that we have the weekend to kitchen, which I know goes really well with a lot of um, weddings, so the caterers are really happy as well. Um, uh, um, what's your favourite part my favourite part, okay, it's part of the food, so I think that's everyone's favourite. I think it's just beautiful to see how happy the bride and groom are, like, see their faces, just, you know, put your heart on them, you see them, and then you also see the decor, it's just, it's just amazing as well to have the buildings as well, and how happy the couple are, the families getting together and uniting, it's beautiful. Yeah. Perfect, ladies and gentlemen, that is for the group. Um, thank you very much. Just a bit of luck, check them out. Um, have a look, it's an amazing venue. So, okay.